A few days ago, I started this little small cute project for a YouTube tutorial. Everything was going very well, but on the last day, this little cute project turned to a complete nightmare. The render time of each frame was more than 10 minutes. 450 frame multiplied by 10 minutes is more than 3 days. So more render time means less project and less project means less money. On the first part of this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to make a transition like these vases. And on the second part, we are going to talk about how to reduce the render time. So let's dive in. Making vase is so easy. Press Shift A, go to Curves and add a Bezier. Rotate it to make it vertical. Then in Modifiers, choose a Screw Modifier. And then select the right axis. Make sure no one is around you and start be creative. Make a shape that you like to send as a gift to a friend. Stop it. Get some help. And now let's talk about how to make the transition. In Object Data Property, there's a section called Shape Key. If you press plus, it makes a new layer which call it Basis. And what it does is actually save the current shape as a basic. If you press plus again, it make a new layer called it key one. Press tab and start making some changes. If you press tab again, the change will be disappeared because there's an option called value. If you put it on one, the change will be show up. And by animating the value, you can animate the transition. It's a simple effect, but there is two things that you have to remember. If you have two shape key, and the first one look like this and the second one look like this never put the both of them on one at once because shape key will be mixed and wouldn't look like any of those shape key the next tip is that if you start the basis with two vertex in the next key never add or remove any new vertex because the shape key would be confused and it wouldn't work or would be messed up and now let's go to the next part of this project which is reducing the render time okay so the first troublemaker is this decorative plan if i put the viewport on render as you can see there is a weird look between the leaves so to solve this problem on render setting max bounce and section i put the value of transparent on 32 but it increased the render time several times. So let's take a look at back at the animation. The plant on that side of the render doesn't have any interaction with the scene. So why we should render it every frame? So isn't it better to just render it once? The answer is yes. For object like this decorative plant, it's better to just render them on one frame and in editing or compositing software like Premiere or After Effects, just place them. And this trick can save tons of time. So the second troublemaker is the smoke. So rendering smoke in the final scene can cause two problems. The first one is dropping the FPS, which is a nightmare. And second one is again, increase the render time about the 10 minutes. So the solution is to copy the elementing that are affecting on the smoke and simulate it in a separate blend file. Surprisingly, render time for each frame is less than 20 seconds. For saving sequence, go to render setting in Film tab, check the transparent to delete the background of the renders. For output, choose PNG format and check the RGBA so render would be saved with alpha. In main file, make a plane where should smoke be and for the material, open the renders, put it on image sequence, on frame input how much frame we have, Check the psychedelic and auto refresh. Connect the alpha of renders to the alpha of material. And now, render time of each frame is about one minute. 
If you like my content, please consider subscribing, leave a comment. You can find the file for free on my Gumroad. And this is it. See you next time. Can you see it? I put the cardboard on the window so it blocked the light. And now my home looks like heaven.